Mary Jo Fernandez won the toss, elected to receive. Not a bad idea. Love this. Well, Novotna finding a stride very quickly, and that's a piece of cake for her, that kind of volley. And the balls were just skidding over the net, and that was barely out. Still a break point for Mary Jo Fernandez in the opening game. Juice. Well, it's always good play on a short ball to go right at the person at net and that one caused Novotna a lot of trouble. Juice. Well, Novotna was hitting her slice so near the baseline and she could have come in two or three times before she did and threatened Mary Jo Fernandez. She's obviously a bit wary of her passing shots even in the first game. First game point after fighting off three break points.
Game is in the bottom. Yes, sir. Liana Novotna, after a pretty tough battle, her opening service game, hold serve. And you can see there on her right knee, a, a bandage. And last night in a doubles match, she, which she and her partner, Lindsay Davenport, won comfortably 6-1, 6-2. She called the trainer out and had a little bit of problem with her knee. So we're just going to have a look, see, of course, with Mary Jo Fernandez, Joe, a lot of balls are going to be put in play, a lot of long rallies, so it's going to be tested. It, it is, yes, and I've had that type of bandage on my knees before now. It's a very sticky one and, and you, it tries to pull some of the ligaments over so they're not resting in the usual place and so therefore not hurting. Well, Jana Novotna, a veteran at 28 years of age, highest ever Tell ranking at three. She's seated three here. Best ever Grand Slam result four years ago, runner-up. Famous loss to Steffi Groff. Can she go one better this year? Three down, four to go. Is Fernandez to see. Fifteen long. Thirteen It's one of the things that makes Mary Jo Fernandez so good is she is a all court player, she's dangerous from all parts of the court. Yeah, she doesn't mind serving and volleying or chipping and charging. She's also a very good doubles player. Well, she missed that one, but Mary Jo Fernandez possesses one of the best lobs on the tour, and I expect her to need to use it well today. Fifty. Little look to Ted Watts asking him the question on the sideline. Yeah, Miss Fernandez. This was a great low volley from Novotna. She does get down so well. She's got great hands too.
15 all. Thirty fifty. Well, well played so here. Mary Jo, she follows in after hitting that shot and is ready for the next volley. A few spots of rain falling once again. Forty thirty. Familiar looking face when the weather gets a bit gloomy. It's Tony Gathercall, assistant referee. Let first up. Miss Novotna leads two games to one. Well, for Yana Novotna, hold suspended. the serve and another suspension of play. Miss Fernandez, the sir, quiet please. Ready. Oh. 
you all 50. Well, a good start by Jana Novotna. After the long break, she's back into her stride. Love 30. Well, obviously, Mary Jo has got to get her concentration back. That was way out. And Fernandez was very quickly up to the net here and she takes a guess which way the ball's going to go and moves beautifully. Wonderful volley. Two break points. Mary Jo Fernandez is keeping very calm here. With that slice, she gets right underneath the ball to enable her to get it over the highest part of the net. See if Nabotna comes in on this second serve. Fernandez is an all-court player, she's not scared to come to the net and she sees which way Novotna moves before she hits that volley. A little bit of a lost opportunity for Jana Novotna leading 15-40 in the first couple of chances to break through on serve.
15, well, the volley from Jana Novotna was actually pretty deep. But again, Mary Jo Fernandez getting a racket back early in readiness for the passing shot. Well, that was a good second serve into the body of Mary Jo Fernandez and a pretty easy forehand volley opportunity that's missed. And now two breaks on the Novotna serve. Mary Jo Fernandez is the last surviving American in the women's field and has sort of an interesting career because she's been ranked as high as number four in the world but had a lot of injuries Joe and She's come back fairly well from them, but never quite to where she was a few years ago when she was in the finals of the French Open, losing a tough match to Steffi Graf, and has had a lot to deal with in order to try and get herself back into the top ten. Yeah, she's quite a slight figure, and I know she's had terrible trouble with her back. I played doubles with her for a while, and I know that she wore a back support every time she practiced or played a match. And as you said, throughout her career, she's had to battle against injuries all over her body, but... She's a fine player and she's been on the tour for quite a while. <laughs> well, back in 85 was when she first got Sorry. ranked inside the top 100 and the end of 1990, in fact, was when she was as high as number four. And in 96, end of the year at 14, currently at 13. really checked and that was really all Novotna could do was play the ball cross court. Fernandez knew that and that's why she was there already. Well, another lost opportunity on a lead on the Fernandez serve from Novotna. She led 15-40 in the fourth game and was unable to break through and now love 30 back to 30 all. First double fault from Mary Jo Fernandez giving a break point to Novotna. Yeah, 
and Mary J. Fernandez coming in again and I almost thought she had this shot if she just leapt a little bit more I think she would have got a racket to the ball That serve came down at 103 miles an hour, but also with some work on it, some spin, tough to handle. Thirty. Well, even on these types of shots, Jana Novotna doesn't really play that well enough, but just when Mary Jo hits the ball, that's the time to move. Let first serve. Right here, the high volley is totally mishit. She had the whole court either which way, and the lob is right on the sideline. Game, Mr. Butler, New Orleans, please. Mr. Butler leads four games to three, first set. Well, Jana Novotna, the number three seed, has been a top ten player in the world for basically all of the 90s. Dropped out a little bit in 92, but and a little bit again in 95, but always around 10, 11, 12. And she has been fairly healthy throughout most of the last six, seven years in contrast to Mary Jo Fernandez. And I think that is a real boost to someone who's trying to keep their ranking up, obviously, and trying to break through, hopefully get a breakthrough in the Grand Slams. Yes, well, the more consistent that you can be with matches and play, the better it's going to be for results and experience. And Jana Novotna is a very consistent player. It doesn't really matter what surface she plays on. She can play very well on clay or hard. And she's also very fit and she trains hard. She just looks sturdy, whereas Mary Jo looks a bit frail. Absolutely, yeah. I think that is why Mary Jo Fernandez does get rather more injuries than a lot Tyler. of players on the tour. Well, the trademark play from Jana Novotna, the chip and charge, very deep. It's difficult to pass off that type of shot. And again here, Fernandez taking the racket back, so she has the option to go down the line or cross court. It's a good disguise. Ah! 
time Mary Jo mixing up the play by serving and volleying, although it was a fault. Novotna actually playing this pass very well in the end, but I thought she'd waited too long. But it was right near the line. Good shot. Oh. And that forehand inside out approach to the backhand side of Novotna is Mary Jo's favorite forehand. And that was a perfect example of how to play it deep into the corner, forcing the error. Forty, thirty. Oh, what an opportunity for Fernandez here. Doesn't quite hit that one as hard as she would like to, but she had all the time in the world to hit that shot. deep enough and Mary Jo look at the concentration watching the ball right onto the racket Novotna trying to sneak play, but Mary Jo Fernandez did not fall for it. All level at four. Well, a little bit frustrating for Fernandez. She knew the first volley was going to go across court. She just couldn't quite make up the time for the second one. That was watching the ball. Oh! 15 all. Ted Watts sticks with his umpire's line, or rather the linesman's call. Thirty fifty. Thirty. 
awkward length on the lob. Well, she almost played a bowl smash. That means that she didn't go into back scratch and she bowled her racket head over. Instead of going into back scratch, there you can see it's a bit of a dodgy shot to play. Forty thirty. Ah. Yeah, you missed the button. Leads five games to four for the Yana with a well placed serve to the two handed side of Mary Jo Fernandez holds serve fairly comfortably to 30, but a couple of awkward points in that game. And we mentioned earlier that the lob from Mary Jo Fernandez was going to be a very important shot. She does it well, but also because Novotna is coming forward so much and she does occasionally get a little bit too close. So you got two kinds of lobs. You can play the high lob, defensive lob, or the lower lob, but more the offensive variety. Yes, and I think the word you used was very good, awkward, and you don't often see Jana Novotna looking awkward at the net or, or with a smash. And in this one coming up, we talk about back scratch, and that's getting the racket head down your back. And she does not do that at all. It's almost up in the air by her head. And it's a bowling action all right over, and there's no way you can Sorry. control that, really. So it's a little like a cricket ball. Absolutely, Pam. I didn't yeah. know you knew about cricket. Versus like a baseball pitch. Anyway, the point is, Mary Jo Fernandez will now be serving to stay in the first set. this ball so well and it was very flatly hit it was only a couple of inches over the net such a difference between the approach on the forehand side of Novotna that sits up versus that backhand which stays so low Fourteen. Server still looking for a love game in this match. Mary Jo has an opportunity here. Gay Miss Fernandez. Five games. Law 50. 
that's usually her safe shot, the backhand slice approach. She's missed two in the last couple of points. Well, that is an awkward re return for Jana Novotna right at her feet. She wasn't in quick enough. And now Mary Jo knows the serve and volley is coming and she's right on the serve. This is where the server needs to mix it up occasionally. Have a little bit of doubt in Mary Jo's mind. Well, that was what you'd call a fairly successful two games for Mary Jo Fernandez. Yana Novotna losing eight straight points. A lot of it was good play from Mary Jo Fernandez, but a couple of missed slice backhand approaches, and as you said, Joe didn't get in too quickly. So that coming at a very crucial time here in the first set. I think Mary Jo Fernandez actually returned very well in that last game. She made sure she got every single one over the net. She made Novotna play the ball. And now she's getting into the rhythm. She knows she's going to serve and volley, as you said, Pam. And so she's going to pick her spot, take her time, and just hit right through the ball. Well, when I think about players on the tour who seldom lose matches, Mary Jo Fernandez comes to mind quickly. You, you can beat her. You need to play well. She makes very few unforced errors, and she's just tactically very sound. And that sometimes can be a bit of a burden for a player. Mary Jo Fernandez is Time. currently being helped on this grass court circuit by Sven Brunefeld. He is a veteran coach on the Corel WTA Tour. He's worked with Mary Pierce and Roger Sanchez Vicario. He's helping Mary Jo through this Wimbledon, and then he's working for the Swiss Federation. Well, that was a very rushed volley. She was right on top of the net. She could have just put a racket face there and the ball would have gone in anyway. Well, a total disaster towards the end of this first set. That's 10 straight points now for Mary Jo. Let her serve. Still two more set points. Oh. 
40-30. Down to one. shot by Novotna and what a so, splendid passing shot on that set point Fifteen long. positive start will be vital for Novotna in this second set It was a great return right into the body and Novotna couldn't do anything really with that volley but Fernandez is very quick to see that the lob was available. Two great points. Gay Miss Fernandez. <laughs> first game, second set, first set Miss Fernandez. Ever since Jana Novotna led 5-4 in the first set. It's been all Mary Jo Fernandez four straight games. And we knew that Jana Novotna would come to net a lot. That's her A game. Mary Jo Fernandez, an all-court player, is also comfortable up there. And here's a look at their points at the net. A little surprising how well Mary Jo has done. 13-3 and three and Novotna. Fernandez, obviously, she's in a Tough. very good groove right now. Four straight games. You just want to keep along those same lines. Take one point at a time. I think that Jan and Votna might stay back a little bit more and maybe rally. Maybe her coach Hannah Mandelakov is thinking that. Be interesting to see if she does stay back a little bit and work the point out before she comes to the net. Fernandez coming into the net herself this time, but the, her volley was not good enough and she got herself into trouble. Left 
This is one thing about a slice backhand that you can disguise when you're going to lob. And I thought Mary Jo was going to take a swing at that ball. Love 40. This is the first drop shot that Fernandez has played. And she goes one-handed to play that shot. It's very difficult to play it with two hands on the racket. Just there, releasing the other hand. And a serve volley. She knew that was going to be a, a nice volley for her, followed in. Mary Jo's third double fault coming on the third break point, and it was a vital break back for Novotna. She'd lost the four games in a row in the opening serve of the second set. Now let's see if she can get back on track on her serve. Fernandez is really moving well to her backhand side, putting a lot of steps in. Rack it back early again. Taking advantage of the shorter ball, this is a lovely crisp volley. So fast at the net. Her reactions are brilliant there. She leaps across very athletically, keeping her eye on the ball. Lovely soft hands. Oh. 15 40. Miss Fernandez leads two games to one second set and by one set to one. Well, it's three straight breaks of serve opening up the second set, and I guess Yana Novotna feels she's in a little bit of a difficult situation. If she doesn't serve in volley, Mary Jo's going to come in, and then Yana Novotna is going to have to be coming up with passing shots, but at the moment, when she does serve in volley, for the most part, Mary Jo's returning very difficultly, and when Novotna wins the point, it's, it's on volleys like we saw two points ago that are just outstanding. Yes, Yana Novotna is looking pretty awkward on some of her volleys, and the last one in that game. I, I just feel she's rushing a bit. She's rushing her approach shots, and when she's coming to the net now, she's obviously looking for something a little bit too hard, 
because she's scared of the passes that Mary Jo Fernandez is playing. I mean, she might Tire. have been looking at Fernandez then instead of watching the ball. making sure on this pass that she really gets her racket up the back of the ball to produce the top spin and therefore it dips at the feet of Mary Jo Fernandez. Problems for the server continue. It's Mary Jo Fernandez's fourth double fault. She's not usually has too many in that category. Novotna sneaking in here but she almost left it too late by the time she gets to hit this volley look how low it is and she was very lucky with that one and Fernandez coming in and attacking as she has been doing during this match. She's taking every opportunity she can to put Novotna under pressure. Still two break points. Game is Novotna. You will always win. Two games on. Well, Mary Jo Fernandez obviously thinking that this return of serve from Jana Novotna sails long. You can see here how high in the air it is. Novotna's on her way to net. Let's see it. We can see it bounce. Mary Jo's actually in the way. I thought it actually landed on the line. Whatever. It's break again. Four straight. Mary Jo still looking at the mark. Well, it was another great pass from Fernandez, and Jana Novotna had a little look at her coach Hanna Mandelkova after that one. Fifteen. to this one, really moving well, but she keeps moving, she's keep looking for the next ball, and a great reaction. Novotna once again, something's in her eye right there, and you can see her sort of flick it away, and she went to her chair after this point, she's just now recovering, she went over there to try and get something out of her eye, 
Server in trouble again, 1530. This is actually the first time the server has gotten to 30 all in this set. Not only has there been four straight breaks, but there have been four straight easy breaks. And the first game point for the server in the set. Gay miss the button. With that ace, Yana Novotna goes up a hold in this second set. Usually you try and get up a break, but after four straight breaks, I'm sure this will probably give Yana Novotna a bit more confidence, and that's something she really needs. Well, she does. I mean, her game plan is to serve and volley and to chip and charge, but Mary J. Fernandez has been handling it so well that I thought that she was rushing, but Obviously, Pam, you did spot she had something in her eye on that point, and still something there. She actually might be asking the umpire to call the uh, Corel WTA Tour trainer, because they do have something in their medical kit that acts as a cleanser and can easily rinse out, wash out the eye. And it, sometimes it's difficult to try and do it yourself, because your hands are dirty and, y you know, you've got ball fluff or whatever else. You can just complicate the matter more, so Yana's probably... It's a good idea to get the trainer out there. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously you can't carry on if you can't see properly. And her eye does look a little red and irritated. But she must have solved the problem. And here... Yeah, she's rubbing her eye after that point. Maybe a little bit of dust has got in there. She continues to rub it. Maybe it's the sunlight. See, that I think is a good tactic for her to stay back. She's a great mover. Novotna is steady at the back of the court and force Mary Jo to hit some extra balls. This is great touch by Fernandez. She's in very fast. She realizes Novotna is stuck on the baseline. You don't have to do a great big swing when you play the shot, but just make sure you get the racket head under the ball.
And the Votner loves to chip and charge the return of seven. That was up the middle, so she gives her opponent no angles to go for. touch and she again realizes that Novotna's right at the back of the court a little bit lucky but the racket head goes underneath the ball again as it does on a drop volley After three straight break points, Mary Jo Fernandez finds herself a deuce because of this closing forehand volley. Look at the racket face, see how steady she holds it, straight through the ball. And even though this ball was up in the air, Novotna does try and move somewhere to put Fernandez off, but it was too good. Game point now for Fernandez. Let Fossa. Fernandez came in, Novotna goes for it and well she could have hit that shot and it's sometimes I think better to hit it than to leave it. Another break point opportunity for Novotna. Now it's Yana Navana who's on a little bit of a run. Trying to hold serve for the second time in a row and inch closer to taking this round of 16 match into a third set. Thank <laughs> you. 
يقيم Well, I, I think this was out. It was a good get by Novotna on that volley. Actually, just out. Novotna leaves it. There was a little sigh of relief, though. Fifteen all. Thirty fifty. And is still up one in that category. Double fault and a missed routine backhand. Mary Jo Fernandez has a break point. Get the break back. Second set. First set, Miss Fernandez. Well, we've seen a lot of breaks of serve throughout the match. Three in the first set and a whole slew in the second set. Four in a row and again, Novotna broken just there. And you can see here the problem for Novotna. She's only winning 55% of her first serves and 36% in 38 for Mary Jo, that's kind of normal for the second serve, and even Mary Jo at 62 is pretty low. So right there says the problem, they're not winning enough points for their first serve. No, and I thought that Novotna actually was playing more from the back, but then she tried to serve volley again, and Fernandez was getting into the groove with a return right at her feet. But I definitely thought she had changed tactic and was trying to play a longer point wait for the opening and then come in instead of just rushing which i felt she had done a lot at the end of the first set Tom. still both players realizing that they can break serve at, at any given time hanuman lakova looking on probably a little bit disappointed that Novotna didn't consolidate that break but still a chance to stay on top in the second set playing the longer rally and then working it out and coming in but so near the line it does give an angle to Fernandez she uses it well
เธอชื่อThis service game will surely test the number three seed, Yana Novotna. She led 4-2 and looked like she was headed for a victory here in the second set. Oh. 15 low. That serve was so long, the Cyclops did not even beep. They're tied now. Again, what a superb return right at the feet of Novotna and all she could do was really pop it up in the air. Oh. 15-40. Or you serve double faults when your opponent is returning well, you try and go for a little bit more and all sorts of trouble now, double break point. Another great return from Mary Jo Fernandez and she almost had too much time with that shot. She could have lobbed or gone for a pass and don't think she can make up her own mind. Still a break point.
lose the ball. Mary Jo, quick question of the service call. It was a great forehand volley and now a game point after fighting off two break points. Okay, Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler leads five games to four, second set. For set, Ms. Fernandez. Well, what a test for Yana Novotna. 15 40 down. She'd served two double faults to get herself into that trouble. And then came out with a couple of good volleys, but the missed forehand pass cross court. Mary Jo had it on her racket, just hit it wide. Yes, she did, and as I said, I, I thought she really took too much time about deciding which shot to play, and in the end, she actually rushed the actual stroke. It's amazing how many times on the big points, your mind is not as clear as it is on the points where maybe it's one all in the first set, 30 love. It just happens when the game gets tight. Second set, there have been many service breaks. You can see there four in a row starting things off and then finally a hold of serve in the fifth game by Novotna. And then again break break and then the last two games going with serve but not without some fighting there in that last game. 15-40 down and it'll be Mary Jo Fernandez's turn now to Time. try and hold serve otherwise. Third set coming up. I think it'll be interesting to see if Jana Novotna persists with the chip and charge play, whether she's going to stay back a little bit more, play the rally out and then come into the net. Perfect play by Jana Novotna. She played the rally, but the approach was down the middle and therefore cuts out any angles that Fernandez can go for. It was an easy volley in the end. Serve volley not quite good enough here. It was the backhand volley she played with two hands on the racket. Not close enough to the sideline to worry Nevada. She's two points from the second set. Well, perhaps the end of the court with the shade is a little slicker than the one with the sunlight you can see here trying to change directions also on the greenest part of court one the part that doesn't get played much see there the bandage on her right knee okay, second set is the button six games to four one set off. Well, it's not a change of ends, but Yana, because she fell, she's going to her towel to get the grass off. But a really good end of the second set for Yana Novotna. Yeah, she took her time and Final played set. it right. She didn't rush, as she had done at the end of the first set. Fifteen. 
30, 50. Well, there was a slight bowl action to the smash again here. And that is a little bit chancy on the overhead. Well, Navatna pulled up very, very interestingly there. Watch what she does here. Okay, this is the one by the way. final set. Yana Navana just a couple of points ago pulled up very awkwardly after going wide to her right on a very good Mary Jo Fernandez return. It looked like something in her chest or her sternum really bothered her. It's quite strange. Yes, very. For a moment, I thought she, I don't know, jammed something. I almost thought her racket into her body, but no, she stretched so far. I mean, must have pulled a muscle. May have, actually, it looked like it may have been her knee. It's kind of funny. She gets very, very low to the ball. She gets as low in her head and her and her chest down very low. And let's just see whether or not there might be a little contact. One of her knees. Maybe. Maybe yes. an impact. Well, <laughs> may Holy have me. may have winded her. We might be in shock and and a bit scared. She doesn't want anything to happen to her knee. Tile. Yes, something did hurt there. Oh, I've never seen that before. I remember Bjorn Borg a couple times on his forehand would hit himself in the face with his racket on his follow-through, but that's a, that's a new move by Yana, one she would probably just as soon leave behind. And Mary Jo Fernandez has really enjoyed playing this backhand shot down the line today. Thirty. Well, seldom have we seen the server in this position. 40 love up. First serve. Well, well, first serve. This occasionally happens here at Wimbledon where you get the secretary Ball. And it happened just as Mary Jo is re reaching up to strike the ball. And Thank it you. is a very loud announcement. So two balls. Okay, this is what it is. 
one win. Well, the second set started with four straight breaks, but we've started with two straight holds here in the third. Let us up. Fifteen. Fifteen thirty. Sometimes the forehand of Jana Novotna, she takes such a big swing. And the one before she missed that one, she took the racket back so late, she almost got herself into problems. Thirty. Now that serve was better located. Mary Jo had to move several steps to her right. She was uncomfortable, and that's what you need to do against good returners. Get them on the move. Novotna a bit fortunate there. Her volley was right off the frame, but it fell short and was awkward for Mary Jo. Game point. Okay, Mr. Novotna. Well, game's going with serve in this third set, and interestingly, both these players, when they were young, were compared to a couple of legends. And Jana Novotna, being from the Czech Republic and an athletic serve and volleyer, was compared to Martina Navratilova. And Mary Jo Fernandez, being from South Florida and a very good ground stroker and a very patient player, very thoughtful, was compared to someone by the name of Chris Everett. And do you think that maybe is a bit of a burden for young players? Yes, I think that sometimes they try and copy the player who is in vogue at that moment. And obviously these two have, with the Rattleover and Everett. But uh, sometimes if you try and play one way and, and it's not your natural way, it can get you into trouble in sort of nervous moments. If you're trying to serve volley because you've followed somebody, but really you want to be at the back of the court, it can force you into things you don't want to do. It's amazing how many players on the tour have people that they are compared to. Uncle Huber, Steffi Graf, Eva Maoli, Monica Sellis. I think you were a little bit with Virginia Wade. and yeah, It definitely can be a little bit of a burden. Certainly these two have had tremendous careers, but have yet to broken through at a Grand Slam. Absolutely. So, who are you compared to then, Pam? I'm incomparable. <laughs> Mary Jo to serve, 1-2. Yep. Well, 
a lovely delicate shot from Jana Novotna coming up, as well as being able to punch her volleys away, she knows when to take the pace off the ball. herself up so well for these passing shots. She makes sure she's in the right place, the racket back early, and she just drives straight through the ball. An opportunity I really thought she should have smashed that and could have smashed that. But Novotna, knowing there was an opportunity, and this brings up two break points. Thirty forty. You got the feeling the longer that rally went, the more chance for Mary Jo Fernandez. Two break points she's fought off. Finds herself at deuce. I guess you can say that was a good eye, Pam, as we say to each other when we leave the ball and it's out, but I think I would have hit that one. Well, disappointment for Novotna. Two opportunities to get the lead in the third set, looking for a 3-1 lead. Instead, four straight points for Mary Jo Fernandez, two all. Well, this is a perfect return from Fernandez. And Novotna does actually get in pretty fast. She is a fast player, but that really got her that time. Stepping in, 
taking this early, she's right inside the baseline to hit that return. Vatna changed up the direction of her serve there, but finds no luck. The net cord working against her. Triple break point. Uh, 50. Good. The ball was good. 30, 40. Umpire Ted Watts listening to Mary Jo Fernandez, but not giving her the answer she'd hoped for. It was called out, quickly overruled, and ruled an ace. Two break points fought off, one more to go. Juice. Well, that was about a quarter inch away from a break of serve. That was a perfect return. Just caught the tape. Advantage, Mr. Butler. Well, we saw Mary Jo Fernandez get out of 15-40 in the last game. And now this is a game point because of that serve right on the line for Novotna from Love 40. out I'd say it's a good call Ted Watts is correct unless it is an obvious mistake stay away from the overall that's what Monica Sellers had the problem with in her match with Sandrine Testude absolutely right unless it is clear the umpire does not overrule now Joe that was just a, a, a tremendous game for Nevada down love 40 looking like she's going to go down the break after having the break points on the Fernandez's previous service game and what does that do for Yana now winning five straight points well to squeeze out of that game I think must give her a bit of confidence she needs a break though Time. because she's looked a little bit vulnerable on her own serve and she brought out a couple of first serves there right on the line but this is going to be an interesting game for Mary Jo Fernandez, whether she can get her mind right back onto the tennis.
Cortina. Mary Jane Fernandez getting herself back together, moving right up the court. That was a well struck ball. Nice lob because Novotna only just got the back, but she knew it was going cross court. She was already moving. Lovely Chris Volley. Mary Jo Fernandez now. 50. And we just about saw everything in that point. Moving in well. Uh, it's a lovely shot down the line. Delicate shot. Make sure she moves in afterwards to be ready for the next play. Fired up Mary Jo Fernandez. She's using slice, she's using great hitting shots as well. Racket back early. Wow, it was a great drive through the ball. Ivana taking a little bit of extra time as she should at a set all and three all. coming in a little bit too much and therefore it's a bit predictable volley not directed enough mary joe is not uncomfortable she only has to take one or two steps and an easy one up the line games in a row now, Novotna down love 40, can she dig her way out again? She won five straight points the last time. Final set. 
Mary Jo Fernandez securing the first break of the third set and she handled all that controversy in the previous service game of Novotno in the close calls very well. She was obviously disappointed on the change of ends. She gathered herself well and won both games in that last change of ends. Yes, yeah, sometimes when you get angry like that, it really concentrates the mind and makes you more determined to go out and play even better, which I think she did. She was fast off the blocks. She hit a couple of really good passes and she's mixing up the play well. She's not just staying at the back of the court. When the opportunity is there to come in, she's taking them and she's forcing Novotna to make a pass herself. Well, I'm sure Sven Grunefeld, who is helping Mary Jo Fernandez during this spring and Sorry. early summer, would be pleased with her effort. But Mary Jo is known all over the place as a tough fighter and doesn't give anything away. Well, I'd say that's the most tentative backhand pass attempt for the entire match. Is that a sign of nerves? And another one from Mary J. Fernandez. The chip and charge was pretty deep, but she didn't drive right through the ball as she has done on other passes. Always a tough call for the umpire whether the ball is up or not. Look, take a look at this, whether or not she gets to it just barely. Mary Jo doing a good job staying with the overhead. athleticism from 15, Novotna here. She reacts well to this, keeps moving, but this is the one, look at the jump that comes here. Really strong. And again, we can see how athletic Novotna is. She slips there, but still 30. tries for that one. A Boris Becker dive. Still one more break point for Novotna. She's taking her time, tallying off. Oh. 
Jay missed the ball. Four games in. Well, as Mary Jo Fernandez was serving that second serve, we were saying, is she going to attack it? And if she does, is she going down the center? And that's exactly what she did. Put the pressure on Mary Jo, didn't give her the angle, got the break back. Four all, third set. Last time they played on grass, 7-6 in the third, last year at Eastbourne. umpire Ted Watts on the baseline, this time going against Mary Jo, and she feels everything on the lines Thank going you. against her. A bit of a wry look from Mary Jo Fernandez, thinking at least one's gone my way. Say I've never seen so many balls so close so often. Everyone being tested out on the court. The players, the umpire, the linesmen. Yeah, but then it gets to the point when you think everyone's against you and you think that every line call sh should be out and so therefore you question everything. 30-15, let's go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, now the crowd is going to be very much behind the American. This is a great pickup using her soft hands well and it's not a good idea to hit it straight at Jana Novotna because she's very quick with the hands too. Well, there's a lot of tests going on in this fourth round ladies singles match. So many close calls. Take a look at this play from Novotna. She's got the racket back early for this slice and coming in. She's so good at doubles as well as singles that she picks that one up beautifully. She's used to playing angles in doubles, so she doesn't mind doing it in singles either. Getting the racket head back and just coming underneath so she gets the cut or the slice and angles it well. Now the tough part for Mary Jo Fernandez, serving from behind in this final set. She cannot afford to drop serve or she's out of these championships. And how will Jana Novotna handle things like Time. second serves in this game? Yes, well she she did a couple of chip and charges straight down the middle of the court, which is a good play against Mary Jo, not to give her any angles. Fifteen. Serve. That's first serve is only at 83 miles an hour. She treated it like a second serve, but missed it. Oh. 
Well, Mary Jo Fernandez showing that she can pick up the volleys with the best of them. And that Jana nearly reacts to that one. And she does that so well in the doubles. Let's see which knee she comes down on. She has the right one bandaged. Serve. Mary Jo coming serving and volleying. She has done that a few times in this match, but really she made no move to that ball, and that's when you need to be athletic around the net. she's running so therefore she can play the stroke down the line Cool under pressure the entire game. Mary Jo Fernandez levels this third and final set at five all. What a great return. And it if she'd taken it any later, it would have been a shank that way. But got the racket back early enough to play it. Every point at five all in the third is is rather large, but that last one at love fifteen, a great volley under pressure, fifteen all. And again, Mary Jo making Yana play the ball from her shoelaces. It was a lovely return. She's done a lot of those in this match. Mary Jo shaking her head again on the service call. And these are the testing volleys for Novotna on the forehand side. She has a history of missing them on big occasions. Makes that one. Slides a racket head right around the ball. It's a lovely volley. Well, sometimes the ball just goes a little bit too high from Mary Jo. We haven't seen that too often, but it was an easy volley. She gets the racket head back and plays it with quite delicate touch, really.
juice. Well, another backhand return that forces a difficult volley from Novotna. I don't think she's changing the direction up enough on her serve. She needs to serve more to the forehand side. Well, you may have seen the little stutter step from Mary Jo Fernandez, and that's putting an extra bit of pressure on the server, but Nabotna came through with a great wide serve, forcing the error. Game point. Yana Novotna for the second time, one game away for a place in the quarterfinals, and here you're going to see a terrific low backhand volley deep in the corner. She watches the line is what she should do, but she gets very pumped up after this. You can see her reaction. It was a, a lovely volley, really deep. It gave her that winning volley cross court, and she pumps her fist and looks at Hanna Manukova, her coach. Now you've got the 90 seconds on the change of ends, and it's important that you get yourself back calm. It's okay to get excited there for that moment, but you don't want to come out at 5-6 your opponent serving and still have that adrenaline rush. No, because then that means that you can rush yourself, rush your shots. Sorry. And I think that Jana Novotnen really needs to calm down, and if she's going to chip and charge, she needs to calm her shots down and make sure she plays the shot before she rushes to the net. Well, for the first time, Novotna feels like maybe she's on the short, a short change of a call. Lead. Second set. Coming in as much as possible, putting pressure on Mary Jo Fernandez, making her run around, and she's keeping that pumped up feeling she had when she won her service game. She is pumped again, and that gives her two match points. Yeah. 
14 and 14. Again, you can't get too pumped. It's still match point. She's got to be aggressive. She can't let Mary Jo Fernandez dictate. here but came through today in the fourth round. Hanna Monmarkova is very excited. You can hear the crowd booing and that's because on match ball it was a close call. And umpire Ted Watts walks off to some boos. Which is a little unfair. I think he actually did a pretty good job. He did not overrule because they were not obvious mistakes. Absolutely. If they're not clear and he doesn't do it straight away then the sensible thing is to go with the linesman's call. Both players getting a good round of applause from this packed court number one as Yana Novotna moves on, 5-7, 6-4, See the reaction on match point? You'd think it was the finals. I think she won the championship right there.